You want to be careful to not put too much oil, like I did for my first tie. That's good, Sorry. my gosh. Good morning, everyone, and today we are going to make breakfast, and my name is Erin, and my sister's name is Nina. We got all of our ingredients out so we can start baking. So let's do this thing. Are you, are you like some special forces guy or something? I'm just a cook. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Daddy. Who's hungry? Daddy, for us, special breakfast is where us kids cook for the parents. We're gonna be helping each other out, making omelets, eggs, stuff like that. Like a huge buffet of breakfast. You can do it. Feed me, see now. So now, let's get started on this. Yes! Right now, we, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna start making the eggs. Why I like to eat special breakfast is because my, since my sister Nina always makes the best of it, I would like to eat it all. And sometimes I eat it all on my plate and it kind of feels much better eating it because breakfast is like the best day in the, in the universe. And you can hear weird sounds coming from it. Something you want to hear? So I think we are done whisking. Now we're gonna get the pan ready for the eggs. After you wait until the pan is ready, you just wanna sprinkle it a little with some water to make sure it's ready. So when it's ready, you put the oil on. You wanna be careful to not put too much oil, like I did for my first time. Too careful. You don't want to like spill it everywhere, so you have to check the bottom if it's fully cooked. And then when it's ready, you flip it over. And then you put the cheese on because the other side it doesn't take too long to cook. Because it makes you strong and it doesn't have to have you like laziness. And the reason why I like it is because Nina makes the best breakfast and it tastes really yummy. After you flip your omelet over, you put your two cheeses on top. And this is gonna work. And then you just fold it. And you know, you're done. And there you have it, your omelet. So what we're making is that we're making oatmeal cookies. What we have today is that we have dark chocolate, some of my favorite stuff, some bananas, my second oatmeal. Get your mixing bowl, one full cup of oatmeal. Now we add the bananas. You can use three or two, but I'd rather use two bananas. And also, while Aaron's going to be peeling the bananas, we have to heat up the oven. So now we're going to heat up the oven to 375. And while that's heating up, we'll just put the bananas in here. Fit it up with your hands, or you can just use a white skin. After this, you can wash your hands because you don't want dirty hands while you're touching chocolate. Too much banana, and you can add a little bit more of oatmeal, which is what we're gonna do. That's good. That's good. Into the lake balls, and put it on your pan. And also, if you have extra chocolates in your mixing bowl, you can just add it to the cookies that didn't get that much. Which one? These tiny ones right there. This one and that one. You can also take a little bit off the, the chunky one. 
There you go. Now that you have your cookies ready, you want to wash your hands and then wait until the oven's ready. Okay. We have a fan. Watch out. Good ducky. You might get your cookies. How much time? 15 minutes. Now all you gotta do is wait and your cookies are done. So now I'm just gonna be peeling the apples for the breakfast. Bacon heaven over here. Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take some bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Mm. Three shrimp, two forks. Because did not see you. Where do I sit? Um, we stay in like here. How's the food? Um, I'm in heaven right now. Job well done.